Yeah, sculpture is a very different medium. It's um, first thing about sculpture is that it is a, not so much three dimensional versus two dimensional. The difference is a sculpture is the thing. A painting is a representation of a thing. I do have a tendency with my style of illustration in whatever medium to um, try and make sculptural form. And, you know, I'd only recently been working on the short animated film, The Lost Thing, which is a, it's virtual, but it's sculptural, you know, it's very sculptural because you're building things in the round in a digital space. and. Um, it's very textural looking film in spite of the fact that it's computer generated. Um, but yeah, as a, as a child my first love was sculpture over painting because sculptures are things in the real world. They're not, they are representations, but they're their own creature. So, and it's, it's something that's very tactile. And um, I guess with a lot of my work I've always been interested in some sort of tactile sensation that you can communicate with the otherwise simple medium and easily reproduced medium of ink on paper. Um, that's probably one reason why, aside from working on the lost thing, I haven't delved much into digital art because it's a little bit too clean for me. I like it to have um, accidents and grittiness and um, when I'm painting, for instance, I often um, the painting looks too good and I have to sandpaper it or do something to it, you know, even throw paint at it, just get it more like things in the real world which aren't so controlled. And it's the same with sculpture. Um, there's something about the, the resistance of the material that's very helpful. Like some people would think that's a hindrance um, if you've got a vision. But the thing is I don't often have a vision. I, I more have an impulse and the resistance of the material combined with the impulse, the two forces working against each other, produces some kind of shape, which then like a five-year-old doing a drawing, um, you know, five-year-olds just draw first and ask questions later. That's, that's how I approach these sculptures. And that's quite different to um, how I often do painting, where because you're working within this certain dimensional space um, and composition is quite important, there's a certain amount of architectural planning that has to happen first. And normally I, I do lots and lots of sketches, you know, I um, usually draw the same thing five times and then I move to final painting. With sculpture, um, these ones, at first I started sketching but it wasn't helping too much, it was actually slowing me down so I just grab whatever material I was working with and just start squeezing things into a shape. So, And there's something happens almost like um, uh, image making from the gut more than the head because it's like I want a fox or with, with really big ears I just grab that clay and just, I'll squeeze those ears into existence and there's something kind of almost um, primeval or biblical about doing that um, like making these little golems and uh, and then you look at the shape and you you turn it around which is a great thing you can turn it around so it has different shapes and come up with a different idea and that thing actually looks more like a goat and then start bending it that way. And so the clay is a beautiful sketching medium because you're not having to erase and redraw, you just push it, pushing it this way and that way, cutting things in half, um, adding to it, squishing it up like I do a face and then squish it, see what it looks like um, if you're doing a witch or something like that. And, uh, and then um, once the material had dried, I spent quite a bit of time cutting and carving. So I'm building it up and then cutting it back. And then with this particular material, I can build it up again, cut it back again, and in some cases, adding objects, um, often things I find in my backyard, a uh, stick or something, and just shove it in there and start working. So I was kind of like trying to trying to keep it very... Um, uh, I'm a very fussy artist and I don't like that. I, I, I want to try and be more spontaneous and do work that's a, that's a little bit more raw. And this, Sculpture was really a great way of doing that, and it kind of felt in tune with Grimm's fairy tales, um, trying to come up with a sense of objects that have been dug out of the ground in the same way when I read these stories, I feel like they've been dug out of the ground, like they've oozed up out of the soil, like, um, you know, the way rocks rise up through frozen ground, um, that's the way the ideas in these old fairy tales seem to have come about through constant oral retelling and then finally being written down about 200 years ago.